guys, good morning. It is a beautiful day here in Vegas. I woke up to it being 48 degrees this morning. That is really nice and chilly. And it was only about 68 in the house, which was fantastic. But I was so confused because I wasn't prepared for it. I was like, did I leave the AC running like really low? I, I was like really out of it. Um, but I've got a cozy sweatshirt on, which feels much more appropriate. I've been wearing this for like weeks now and I was pretty hot in it, but I was like, no, it's fall. I'm forcing fall to come. Um, and it has finally come. So anyway, um, this kind of weather really, really makes me want to like nest a little bit. And I have not touched my office space since that little two week break I took at the end of August. So it, yeah, I, you know, purchased a three drawer like cabinet with little wheels so that I could like start to file things away. Haven't it's still in the box. Haven't touched it. Um, I've like moved my furniture around during those two weeks. I pretty much like it. I wasn't sure. I wanted to kind of like sit in it for a while. I'll show you everything. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to clean up, <laughs> clean up this office a little bit as best we can, as best we can, because I still have my old furniture in here. I do have a new piece. Uh, that I can't wait to show you, but I'm going to shower. Um, I went to Pilates this morning, so I'm going to shower first, make myself a little bit of breakfast. I'm kind of hungry and yeah, let's get to fixing up this. Office. Okay. Voila. Showered new sweatshirt. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to make another cup of coffee. It's one of those days and we will be right back. I cannot wait to show you the new addition to my office. Okay. Coffee in hand walking back to my office. Can't wait to show you. All right, walk, don't mind the vacuum cleaner and Swiffer. Uh, walking into the office, check out the new rug. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. This is from Ruggable. They did a collaboration with Jonathan Adler, which is one of my favorite, I guess he's like an interior, objects decorator. I mean, he has a furniture line, he's got lighting. Um, he started out as a potter, so he has a lot of pottery. Anyway, I'm just a big fan of his work. And I was so excited when Ruggable reached out to me to see if they could work with me. So this video is sponsored by Ruggable. Thank you so, so much. I had been eyeing their rugs ever since, ever since they popped up on Instagram. Instagram, man best as ever. Anyway, I love the idea that these rugs are washable, so you can very quickly throw them into the washing machine. They're easy to set up. Now that there's a big setup, it's a rug. They're just really, really great. And I wanted something just like this for my office space because I've got a lot of boxes in here. I have a lot of makeup. As you guys know, I am constantly dropping my makeup breaking my makeup. And the last thing I wanted in here was like just a really high maintenance, precious kind of rug. This I can just roll up and throw into the washing machine. So the setup was really easy. It has a rug pad that you put down first. It almost has like a Velcro kind of texture um, along the top of it. And then you lay the rug over it and it pretty much like sticks to it. So because it sticks to it, they suggest, and they actually have like a whole video showing you how to like set it up like the easiest way. So you roll it with like the design or the pattern uh, on the inside, and then you put it down. It's almost like baking with like a pie crust. And then you put it down and then you basically like roll it out over um, the rug pad. So I started to do that. And then I realized that if I just pretty much got the rug down, what I could do was kind of like lift it up and pull out the corners really easily just to kind of straighten it out, almost like a bed sheet. Wow, I'm full of analogies today. Like a bed sheet. And that way I could get it really flat. So I did want to give you a close up of what this looks like, what the edging looks like, what the carpet looks like. It is it's fairly thin, which I think is wonderful because it makes it really easy to carry over to your washing machine. And then the rug pad here, let me see if I can get in on the texture. Do you see that texture? It's kind of like Velcro-ish, but it also adds like a little bit of cush. And then the bottom of the rug kind of sticks to it. So 
It really stays put. I've had this rug down now for, I don't know, maybe like a week and a half and I haven't had any problems. I'm not like tripping over the corners or anything. Like the binding along the edges just keeps it really in place. And it's been such a great addition to the office. And look at how cool this pattern is. I love this design so much and it comes in different colors and I'm just so pleased with it. So I laid it out just in like the open space of my office, um, but I want to put it underneath my desk and my desk chair. So I think what I'm going to do is move my desk, move my desk chair, slide it all the way against this wall. Let me show you. So right now this is where my desk is. I just have it like floating out, not in the middle of the room, but away from the wall. And so I think I'm going to move the rug so that it's against this wall here. And then that way I can move my chair and my desk, like everything will be on top of the rug. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. The interesting thing about this room is if I center the rug underneath these three windows, I still have my foam core board up there <laughs> blocking out the sunlight because when it comes in, it's really strong. Um, but I have those three windows there uh, which my desk is kind of centered under, but it's not centered in front of this door. So I think I'm gonna stick to centering it underneath these three windows because I feel like, you know, centering it against this wall makes a little bit more sense than centering it from what it's across from. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I can always move it, but I think that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna move this desk move the chair, move all of that crap that I have down there and over here, um, get the rug up against the wall and then move the desk back on top of it. it right underneath that socket which is in the center of the wall so yeah that was so easy to move and that's another th great thing about these ruggables like if you just want to rearrange your room or whatever like it's not that big of a deal I love it I love it so much I love the design I love that it's washable it's really really fantastic especially in this room like I said when I'm always dropping makeup breaking powders yeah, I'm really, really excited for this rug in here. So I'll have information as to which rug this is exactly, the size and everything down below in my description box. I'll also have a link and a coupon code for you down below as well if you are interested in a ruggable for yourself. I just think they're great. I think they're great for like workspaces, high traffic areas. If you have a kid maybe going to college and they just wanna kind of like up the decor in their room, I think it's really great for that. It's just, yeah, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So anyway, all that information will be down below in the description box. Definitely check it out. They have so many designs and so many different sizes. So anyway, let's get to moving this desk back onto this rug. Oh my God, I'm loving the space so much better already. Desk and chair moved onto the rug. I'm so excited. So I want to put um, like drawers on either side of my desk. I have one with like a file cabinet that I'm going to put to my right since I'm a righty. And then I have like an Ikea five drawer, like one of those Alex drawers. I'm going to put that to my left just to like store crap because I have a lot of crap. And I wanted to get those two things set up before I started moving stuff back onto my desk because I think I'm going to use the tops of those drawers for things too, so I'll show you what the drawers look like. I just slipped that file cabinet out of the box. I just kind of turned it upside down and I'm trying to figure out which side is the front. I think this side is the front here. So let's see, this is actually packaged really nicely. It has these hard corners in there. 
not bad, Amazon. Back to my desk. Jeez. Get a sunburn sitting there. Okay. Assembly instructions. Hi. Last month I spent a week with my heart in New York. In LA it changed. You feel so much drawers are like the exact same well pretty much the exact same depth as my desk I did not plan that <laughs> excellent here's my new drawer system how how not fancy but it's fine it'll do I'm glad I put the wheels on because it would have been really short next to the desk in anticipation of this filing drawer I did get some hanging folders and some file folders. So I'm just going to put these in here. Probably won't need all, I hope I don't need all of these right off the bat, but I have nowhere else to store them. So let me get all of these out of the box and into the drawer. Exciting. So exciting. I don't think I've had a file drawer since I worked in an office. <laughs> so aside from just proper tidying up, the only thing left I have to move in here is the Alex drawer over to the other side of my desk. That I definitely have to wait for my husband. That's way too heavy. Um, but I just need to clean up. <laughs> to clean that up. I have to clean up what's on the windowsill. And I do have to find a place for that paper shredder. I may just put it behind me or even next to this uh, drawer. You know, the thing is when I have papers to shred, I'm usually out in the kitchen area. You know, I have that little kitchen desk and that's where we put all the mail or whatever because I only really shred like, you know, credit card offers, like stuff like that. And yeah, it usually doesn't make it all the way back here, so maybe I'll put it next to the Roomba in the butler's pantry. I may do that because it's really, it would be kind of dumb to have it in here. Okay, paper shredder is here next to Roomba. I hope it doesn't <laughs> mess up the Roomba. I don't like all these cables here, but what can I do? And that's really annoying me. That chip in the drywall, I think that happened when we moved in. It was like a loose piece and then it just fell off. <laughs> And I have this lamp. It's a Stella lamp and it has like different modes like daylight mode and this and that kind of mode. I loved it for when I was knitting because it was great. You could stick your work right underneath the little gooseneck here, but it's not great for anything else because it's a pretty direct light. So I think I'm going to give this to my mom who definitely needs some more lighting in her house. It's really dark in her office especially. Um, so I'm gonna set this aside for her. I have such a candle problem. I had four sitting on my desk. I have the Citronelle, which was the Diptyque summer candle. I have this Paris, uh, Paris in Fleur. This is old. This is like maybe from last year or the year before. Um, I'm almost done burning it, but very springy. Um, and then I have two of my favorite winter scents here. This is the Diptyque Faux de Bois. And then this is the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. So I think I'm going to leave these two out and then I'm going to put these two away since it is definitely fall here in Vegas. All right, I just took a quick lunch break, but I am back. I am back in the office to put away some of this paperwork. I really 
I really detest paperwork, but I have to get over it. I have to put it away. Let me just show you just an overview of where my paperwork is right now. It's in these bags. That's why I moved them over here to the new house. That is where they have been for the past, I don't know, three months. I don't know even know how long it's been now, three months or so. Anyway, I am going to put all of this away or throw away or shred uh, anything I don't need, but I'm gonna put the stuff that I'm keeping into my file cabinet. stuff in this pile is so old. I had this gift card to Palm, which is great. It expired 2012. That's how, what is that, nine years ago? This is the giant pile I'm getting rid of. This is what I'm keeping. All of that was total junk. I do have this table left to clean up, and it's really just a lot of PR or things I'm working on or Things I used to clean. <laughs> Apparently, my teddy bear Chester is there. He deserves a cleaner environment, don't you, Chester? So yeah, let me let me get to cleaning this off and also this windowsill here. for today. This is all I could do, but it is such an improvement. That shelf really needs a lot of help. Um, but look at how beautiful the rug looks. And okay, check this out. <laughs> so I saved one of those corners that the other drawer set came with because this was wobbly. I feel like maybe I lost a foot or something off of this Alex um, five drawer cabinet. Uh, during the move and so it was like just wobbling back and forth and I was like, let me see if this helps that totally stabilizes it I, I, I Really I really like it. It it works really well. So I think maybe I'll paint it white or something um, but anyway <laughs> That's what that is um, but look look at how oh, How cleaned up everything is and oh wait, I left one two candles on the windowsill. Okay, there, gone. The <laughs> windowsill is now cleared off. I cleared off this table, put everything where it belonged or threw it out. This is a box that I just have going for my manager. She never gets the benefits of PR or anything, so if there's anything um, that she wants, I just throw it in that box. It is slowly getting filled up for her. I've got Chester sitting on Hermes, the way it should be. I've got my YouTube plaque there. And like I said, this shelf just needs a lot of help, but whatever, that's for another day. I still have all my House of Siage at the bottom there. That is my photo kit, that's my bag. And then I have two scales for um, packing and shipping. And then here's my desk, oh, I'm so excited on my beautiful rug, doesn't it look so good? So I definitely need to get a new office chair. I purchased this office chair in the year either 1999 or 2000, I think 2000. And it's one of those amazing Aeron chairs, but um, it doesn't like lift up anymore. So it's permanently in this like super low position. And so when I'm working, for a long time, I just start to feel like my shoulders start to cramp up, so I need a new chair, um, but one of these days. And what you can't really see, except when you're standing back here, is this. This just 
crazy, <laughs> crazy cable battery charger situation. But this is this is just what happens when you've got a lot of electronics. That's for one camera. These are batteries for another camera, actually the one that I'm filming on right now. Computer, extension cable. I mean, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. But let's ignore that. Here's my new file cabinet. I have shipping labels over here because it's, it's actually kind of an odd shaped box. So I just ripped some out and put it next to my thermal printer here. That is it. So I'm pretty proud of myself. This was probably the last thing I wanted to do today, but I was like, I have to get this done. I got that beautiful rug in and I was like, I'm just not doing it any justice by leaving this place a total mess. So anyway, a huge, huge thank you to Ruggable for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check my description box for a link to Ruggable and also a coupon code for you guys. And thanks so much for tuning in. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.